Hey, Kurt Papke coming to you from Tucson, Arizona. Are you looking into reducing your iMovie storage? Do you need a clip from a project that you did a couple years back? If you've been looking into these issues, you may have heard the phrase, always back up before you do dot dot dot. The problem is, backing up is really easy. Restoring, not so much. I'm going to show you how to do it. I spent a decade as an engineering director with Veritas Net Backup, an industry standard enterprise backup system. So I've seen a thing or two when it comes to backup and restoring systems. Today, I'm going to show you how to restore a project from an Apple Time Machine backup. Every Mac comes with Time Machine Backup and Restore software. You don't have to purchase or download anything in order to do what I'm going to show you today. I'm assuming you are using an external drive like this Seagate 8TB unit I bought at Costco to do periodic time machine backups of your system drive. Let's do a quick review of using Time Machine to back up your iMovie media and projects. If you want to jump right to the restore, skip to the time code shown below. First, let's check the Time Machine preferences. The default is to back up automatically, but I do it manually because I don't always have the drive plugged into my MacBook. I prefer to consciously back up after completing some significant edits. You'll also want to show Time Machine in the menu bar. Make sure you have any folders you want skipped in the exclusion list, and make sure your Movies folder is not in that list. We get things going by selecting Backup Now from the menu bar. This could take a while, especially if you haven't done a backup in a long time. iMovie video files are often huge, and size matters. Okay, Time Machine is finishing and cleaning up. All done! The Preferences window shows when the last backup was completed as does the Time Machine drop-down from the menu bar. All right, it's time to do a restore. You'll note I have a different external drive plugged in now. This one is about five years old, nearly full, and has iMovie backups on it from when I first began making videos. The first step is to open the Finder and navigate to your Movies folder, where the iMovie library is located. Next, Go to the Time Machine icon in the menu bar and select Enter Time Machine. Your desktop will blur out and a timeline will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. Select the date of the backup iMovie library you want to restore. This is typically right after you finish the project you want to access. I selected January 7th 2016. Click on the gear icon. Don't just do a restore because it will overwrite your current iMovie library, wiping out all your recent work. Instead, select Restore iMovie Library 2... Dot, dot, dot. A chooser window will pop up for you to select where you want the library restored to. I'm going to select an SD card drive that has a lot of extra space, unlike my system drive. The restore will start and a progress window will pop up. This is going to take quite a while because the library is huge and has to be copied in from a USB port and out to the SD card. Okay, we're nearing the end now, just five seconds left. All done. There's the file on our SD drive. Next, we will rename the library to something obvious. The reason for this will become apparent when we start to manipulate the library inside iMovie. Bring up iMovie and select File, Open Library, Other. A library chooser will pop up with a list of recently opened libraries. Our restored library will not be in the list because it's brand new. So click on Locate. That will bring up a Finder window where we can select our restored library, then click on Open. 
A loading status box will pop up with all kinds of activity as iMovie examines the projects in the restored library. In my case, it was old enough that some video clips that soon will be incompatible with Mac OS were found, and iMovie offers to convert them. If this happens to you, go ahead and select Convert. Voila! All of our ancient projects now appear intermingled with current projects. That's what happens when you have two libraries open at the same time. Find the project you want to access. I'm going to go to an old Boundary Waters canoe trip, BWCAW. Don't double click on the project. Click on the three dots in a circle and select Copy to Library. Here's where the rename we did of the restored library becomes important. iMovie Library is the default name, and we'd have two of them with exactly the same name, which would make things really confusing. If we had selected a project from that default library, it would instead say Copy to Library, Restored iMovie Library. Once again, you'll get a progress window as it loads up the project you'll see a pie chart progress indicator in iMovie's upper right-hand corner as it does the copy operation. Now we are going to close the restored library so iMovie isn't cluttered with all those old projects. Select the main media button, then right-click on the restored media library in the library section and select close library. Now go back to your projects to see your current work with the addition of the restored project. Double click on it to open it up and ta-da! You can now access all the media and clips you use to create that video. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, click like or subscribe down below or share it with someone you think it might help. Even better, leave a comment down below with suggestions for topics that you think I might be able to help you solve. I have way more ideas than time to make videos, and I'd love to hear back from you about what you think might be important that I could help you with.